Hey guys, Star Arts Movie here with another exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to render out your video using H.264 codec. So, what is H.264 codec? So basically it's a codec that allows you to render out your video with a low file size but, but still having a great quality so it's perfect for YouTube. Alright, so let's just get started. Uh, first thing first, of course, of course, you're gonna download and install the codec. The codec, <laughs> I already put the link in the description box, so make sure you check down below. So if you have 32-bit computer or 30 or 32-bit software, you, of course, you're gonna download the 32-bit version. And um, if you have 64-bit version of your software or your PC, you're gonna download the 64-bit version. So inside inside it, you will have the codec. Just double click to install it, and there you go. I'm not gonna do that because I already already did that so make sure when you install it you close all of your of all of your software first so when you fire it up your software um, gonna read the codec so I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro right here and uh, to use that codec you're gonna go to file export media basically it's gonna render out your video or control M and I usually render to H264 here is gonna be mp4 video but today to use the codec that I just gave you, we gotta render out as AVI. So choose AVI for the card for the format here, and then the preset, basically anything for now because we're gonna change it anyway. And go down here to video, and as you can see here, the video codec uh, for default is gonna be DV. Uh, we're gonna change it by click the triangle right here, click that, and then you will have this if you already installed the codec that I gave you. X264 H264 so click that and then click codec settings and you will have something like this on the red control here you're gonna change it to single pass bitrate based or ABR so basically your video now is gonna be based on bitrate that uh, you're gonna put it right here so first I'm gonna be explaining to you uh, a little bit about bitrate so what is bitrate bitrate is actually um, the higher the bitrate your video quality is gonna be um, better so for example here on YouTube I already download the video from YouTube here I download my own video just to check how big the bitrate is actually YouTube convert my video so for the 720p as you can see here is the quality by the way so if you click the quality here you can change it to 720p or 1080p so 720p is like HD ready if you had a if you have a TV that says it's HD ready that means this the resolution is 720p or if you have 1080p it means your TV having a blu-ray quality or full HD 720p uh, so I already downloaded the 720p and uh, um, I already downloaded the 720p and 1080p HD just to check the bitrate that YouTube convert my video so if you go to 720p here this is my video by the way 720p version I right click and go to properties and then go to details and as you can see here, YouTube convert your video to around 2000. As you can see, this is the bitrate data right here. It's around 2000 and this is the maximum bitrate. If you get a lot of motion, the YouTube gonna convert it to a higher, a little bit higher bitrate. But your your um, uh, uh, data rate bitrate is this one. So it's, kinda, it's, it's around 2000 bitrate. Alright. So uh, for 1080p, if you go to properties, right click by the way. Go to properties and details as you can see here YouTube convert your video bitrate to around 4000 and maximum is around where uh, 4000 also so it's around 4000 bitrate so how many bitrate you render out your video YouTube gonna convert it to that bitrate so sometimes I hear this a lot like hey Tara how is my video become sucks on YouTube I already in my computer it looks nice and when I upload it to YouTube it looks sucks. well because YouTube convert your video to a smaller bitrate and YouTube actually use this codec to H.264 so this is we're gonna be using to upload to YouTube so yeah I hope you understand what I'm talking about here uh, I'm pretty sure I understand alright so um, so the bitrate here as you can see here my video here is 1080p so the minimum I'm just gonna follow the YouTube I'm just gonna render it render it out as 4000 bitrate if you have um, 720p uh, video you're gonna change it to 2000 bitrate by the way this is the minimum alright if you have uh, if you want to make your video in higher quality or if you have a fast internet connection why not punch it up to 5000 for 720p because it's gonna look a lot better 
of course. <laughs> and for 1080p full HD, you're gonna punch it up to around 10, uh, 8,000 uh, for the minimum. Or if you have a lot motion in your video, as you can see here, my video here just say static shot a lot of static shot as you can see here just put my camera on tripod so basically it doesn't need that high bit rate so for me i'm just gonna render it out as 4000 bit rate it should be good anyway all right so for the codec here we're gonna choose h264 because youtube gonna convert it to h264 anyway so we're gonna click ok and then we're gonna go down here to the quality now as you can see here the uh, the um we gotta ch change it to our um quality of video so as you can see here my video here is 1080p so we're gonna change that uh make sure you uncheck the the um but make sure you uncheck this so you won't have a problem with this uh, size of the video um this is basically as aspect ratio make sure you uncheck that so um uh, 1080p Oh, sorry 1920 and 1080 there you go that is a full HD if you have a 1080p HD it's gonna be like this like so that is 720p all right but I'm I am having a full HD video here so there you go now we're gonna go down here from the frame rate here my frame rate is 23 frame per second and then the field order make sure you choose progressive so your video is not gonna have like a weird line uh, like from the DV video so make sure it's progressive and then for the aspect ratio now this is important for the default here if you choose um, DV here it's gonna be DV make sure you change it to square pixels as you can see here before that it's gonna have some a lot of black bars and square pixel boom there you go and make sure you check a render at maximum depth just to uh, make your video in higher quality and use maximum render quality click that for the audio we're gonna leave it just like so and maybe if you want to a smaller size of audio you can change it to minimum for me for still higher quality um, it's around uh, 32,000 Hertz there you go alright so we're gonna click export and we're gonna export our video and we're gonna come back after it's done alright guys so we already done and this is the result as you can see here if you go to properties the details the data rate is around 4000 and uh, total bit rate is around 5000 this is for if you have a uh, some kind of too much motion in your video but anyway the, the data rate is around 4000 even less alright so this is the video is only 46 megabyte as you can see here the size is already 46 megabyte and as you can see here it's a full HD the frame width is 1920 and frame height is 1080 so as you can see here's 1080p HD and if you play this video the quality is amazing as you can see here <laughs> so for 40 megabytes full HD video this is crazy this is this is awesome so <laughs> as you can see here. all right there Alright guys, so that's it. That is basically the codec. So by the way, um, uh, some of you guys using Sony Vegas. So I'm just gonna be teaching you the Sony Vegas version here. Let's fire up the Sony Vegas. There you go. In Sony Vegas, if you want it just the same way as we did. Import the video here yes and you gotta render it out by click ctrl m or just click here to render as so render as your video and uh, you're gonna name it any way you want and browse to whatever you wanna render it out and again you're gonna choose avi so search for avi down here video for windows avi i use sony vegas 12 by the way video for windows avi and choose hd um, for me because it's 1080p i'm gonna use 1080p 24 frame per second and then click that and customize template now when you customize template as you can see here make sure everything is okay pixel aspect ratio one is square pixel so it's already good and video format the default gonna be sony yuv codec we're gonna change it to x264 
and then for the configure here we're gonna do the same 4000 and make sure it's AB, ABR and then it's H264 for this one so after that we're gonna click OK and the audio whatever you want here I'm just gonna be PCM uncompressed and minimum the quality is still 32,000 Hertz and then click OK and uh, we're gonna choose render click render and you good to go alright so that's it on um, Sony Vegas what about After Effects of course it's also the same lots of you guys already asked me this also how to render out from After Effects so surprisingly <laughs> you you guys um, a lot of you like a student I believe and already uh, uh, ask me through a private message. Hey, Tara, I'm a student. I don't know how to render out the from After Effects. Alright, it's actually pretty easy. So, if let's say you got a video inside After Effects, there you go, and you want to render it out, just press Ctrl M or Composition and um, add to render queue. As you see here, Ctrl M, it will be the same. And basically, this is it. This is how to render your video. And then in here, Output Model, as you can see, it's lossless. If you just click render, your your video is gonna be an AVI uncompressed, so it's gonna be a very very big uh, file <laughs> there. It's gonna be a lot of gigabytes going on. So the last list is make sure you click that, and then go to for the format here is AVI is already good, and go to um, format option I believe. There you go, and then the video codec you're gonna change it of course to X two six four. And then the codec settings, we're gonna do the same. 4000 if you have 1080p or 2000 if uh, 720p for the minimum, by the way, bit a bit right. And then we're gonna go click OK and then click OK. And if you want to render out your audio from your video from After Effects, make sure you check the audio output here and change it to minimum for me is here. But you're gonna leave it high quality here, 48,000 hertz. And then click OK. And an output to whatever you want, just click this. Let's say you want to render out to whatever you want, click this to change the um, uh, render output. And then click render right here, and you should good to go. All right, guys, so that's it. I already answered your quest, your question. How uh, am I? How did I upload to YouTube really fast? So actually, I converted to H264, and now you already know how. I did it. Alright guys, so I hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you find it useful and see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao! Alright, the ciao is kind of too sexy right there. Ciao! <laughs> see you guys!